Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to knit the butterfly honeycomb stitch. Uh, earlier, I have uh, put pictures of couple, uh, two uh, Bolero shrugs that I have knitted for customers, and uh, it's a very easy stitch. And I wanted to do this a couple of years ago, but unfortunately never had the time to make a video out of it. So today I am going to demonstrating how to knit the stitch. Uh, for the stitch, I'm just gonna, I'm just using a worsted yarn, cotton yarn. I'm going to make a dishcloth. So with the stitch, uh, you can make anything you wish. You can make baby blankets. You can make cardigans. You can make sweaters. You can make like this one we're making a dishcloth. You can make anything you wish. So uh, I'm just demonstrating this is a dishcloth so I'm going to be uh, casting on a total of 31 stitches. Uh, for this stitch you need three plus one I guess so multiplied by three so 30 so that would be 10. We would be having 10 uh, honeycombs on this uh, tutorial and then uh, I'm going to do the edges as well, like three stitches of uh, pearl stitch. So, two. so cast on a total of 31 stitches and uh, knit, knit about, I would say, three rows. Yeah, just knit three rows, both sides, right side, wrong side. And I'll meet you when we're starting the butterfly honeycomb stitch. Okay, so I knitted a total of uh, five rows, not three rows. I thought two, uh, three rows was a bit small. So here is... So it's going to be a tiny, just, just, to, just to demonstrate how to crochet, how to knit this uh, pattern. As I usually make my dishcloth about nine inches long. So this is a tiny one. And like I said, I'm you're using a cotton worsted yarn. And I switch back to my these needles. I have a hard time. I try to knit with these bamboos, but it's making that noise, that squeezy noise, squishy, squishy, when you're trying to knit. Okay, so let's get started with the pattern. And um, so I'm, uh, for the dishcloth, I'm going to be I'm going to be knitting the edges as well as we go. So. Here we go. So, uh, knit total of uh, four stitches. One, two, three, four. I'm going to start the pattern right away because I don't want any knit stitches showing off. So, so just knit, knit one. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this yarn in front as to purl, but we're not going to purl. We're just going to slip three stitches. That's all to it. And then knit one. Have it nicely here. And again, three stitches, slip three stitches. So your yarn has to be on the front. So this is the front, this is the right side of the work. And we're going to be knitting one stitch. Again, slip three stitches. Knit one. Slip three stitches. Knit one. Slip three stitches. Okay, so two, four, five. I'm going to have an extra stitch. I don't know why that happened. Shouldn't be, but okay, so you can cast on instead of thirty one, you can cast on thirty then. <laughs> uh, okay, and we're just gonna knit the remaining four. Five well, yeah, it's still four. 
and this would be the last stitch. Okay, so we did this part. So this it's this is how it looks like. You can see the loose yarn here. This is we're going to play with these later on. See? So there should be should be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're just gonna do the regular purl stitch on the wrong side of the work. And then when you come back, I'll meet you up here at the front side when we're doing the right side of the work. Okay, so we're back to the beginning and we're going to be purling the first four stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to continue knitting these stitches all the way here. So two, four, five. When we come here, we're going to do the purl stitch. And then we're going to do the purl stitch on the back. And when we come back, we're going to start doing the pickups of the loose yarn here. Okay, so we're back to the right side. Uh, for these uh, purl stitches, you can knit two sides and then you, you have the, this stitch here, the purl stitch. What I do is I just do a, I do it this way, because I do a Turkish style knitting. The, the yarn is over my neck, so it's easy. I've been doing this for years, so I'm used to it. So uh, just purl the first four stitches and here we start the pattern. Okay, so remember the three stitches. Let me have this have it get it closer so you can get a better view. Huh. Okay, so this is the three stitches here, right? That we that we had the yarn in front that, that we slided the stitches is the yarn right stitch the other one. So what we're going to do is you're going to be knitting this first stitch and then knit the second stitch. So this is in the middle, the third stitch, the three stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this over here and we're just going to do the knit stitch. Just do a regular knit stitch. That's all to it. Have it nicely here. And we're going to have the yarn on front. So we're going to build another we're sliding the three stitches and having the yarn in front and we're going to be at the same time what we're doing is we're doing a knit stitch plus the one that we did earlier we're going to put this up here and knit that one together so when we do that we have that loose yarn see how it becomes it becomes a V and this is how we do the butterfly honeycomb stitch and then this one is going to be the next one so so we're going to pull it up pull it up and oh I love this pattern it's so much fun it's so fun yeah I think I can't remember but I remember too for sure that I knit two garments and uh I think I knitted a baby blanket too with this. So you can knit it. This would be a great baby blanket, especially with yellow color yarn, because it's the honeycomb, right? And it shows nicely. Okay, so skip the three stitches in front. Oops, oopsie. And then the loose one, don't forget the loose one. On the bottom, just pull it up, put it on the needle, put it on the needle, and knit these two stitches. Well, it becomes a stitch when you pull it up. See? Oh, the yarn. 
let's fix this twisted because I just got to knit these two. Huh. Here we go. Again, slip the three stitches and have the yarn in front. Oh, see, again, I lost it. Grab the loose yarn here. Again, slip the three stitches. And put this up here, the loose yarn. Knit this. See? So we have Remember we did two here? So this stitch, to knit this stitch, it's multiple with four stitches. Yeah, yeah. And then if you want to do the edges like this, and then if you want to do a border like a little peacock border, it would be cute on a baby blanket. Yeah, just to give you an idea. Okay, knit this uh, remaining two stitches. So again, we're going to be purling, or you can do knit. If you knit two sides, you be you have a purl stitch, and then just knit the back of the work. Just like this. This is the wrong side of the work, so when you do the wrong side, we do the purl stitch. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to do another row. The front, we're going to do a purl here. And then we're going to, I'm sorry, knit. We're going to do a knit, knit. This is the front of the work. And then we're going to do a purl and then we're going to start doing this the third like we're going to pull these up here you can make it with different colors as well like when you're doing this uh, uh, this uh, slip to create the honeycomb you can use a different yarn like using a white color yarn and then you can have two colors and that would just just more more work to do <laughs> okay so three four and just knit all the way I left I I've been using I've been knitting so many garments I guess I got used to you knitting with circular needle so even to knit a dishcloth I just I just couldn't work with the straight needle here we go so just knit the right side of the work purl the wrong side of the work And back here. So you just play around with those three stitches. You move them around and then you have the honeycomb stitch. 
I call this butter effects. There, there are a couple of ways to make this stitch. Um, like if you do it three, four, then you will have three, four looses. I did that too, I remember when I was so young. I think I was 15. I knitted a sweater for my, a cardigan for my aunt. She asked me to knit it. <laughs> so I knit it for her. You, it was a similar stitch. But I like this one. Yeah, it's it's more classic for me. I don't know. I really like this stitch. So this is the wrong side of the work. And these yarn, I buy them from uh, their worsted yarn. Can't I, this one doesn't have the label on? I bought it from Do Dollarama at for one twenty-five. Yeah, they're pretty good. Here we go. See, so we're gonna start doing again the slip, slip the yarn, and then one, two, three, four, and then knit the first stitch. Okay, and then we're gonna slip this one. One, two, three. So this is going to be the first, the first one that we did. It's similar to that one. Okay, so we're here. If you look at it automatically, this is in the uh, between the three stitches that we did. So we're gonna put this up here nicely. Let me focus this a little bit because when I come closer. Huh, this is better. And then we just knit this stitch. Here we go. So we kind of have it to the back. Doesn't this look pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. So, oops. See, I forgot. Don't forget. You have the yarn in front. Don't knit. Slip the three stitches. And then have this up here, and then knit them together. Here we go. Ta da! Oh, I love it. it. Looks so cute. Oh, this would be great for baby cardigans, too, baby sweaters. I usually, uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial. Uh, I you I knit. Like ninety, let's say ninety-eight percent of my cardigan sweaters top down. This way, I can control how much yarn I have. <laughs> so I'm going to do a tutorial pretty soon, and you can put this pattern on the edge, like when you're going down. The buttons here. Oh, it would be look lovely. Just got an idea. I have so much idea. So many projects in my head it's unbelievable and I have like over 30 orders knit customs that paid me to cust uh, commission me to knit them oh so busy it's fun though I really enjoy it especially when I get messages from customers oh I'm, oh, I'm getting married a week later so that's when I don't sleep and finish her bridal shrug and ship it as soon as possible. Yeah, that's how I am. Okay, so we're doing the last one. You don't have to... Uh, Knit the two stitches together. You can knit this, the knit stitch, and then that's even does it. Okay, so I, for some reason I'm uh, losing the next stitch right away. I guess it's it's the way it is. Uh, okay, so grab it, knit the two stitches. Oh, oh, I, we have to do another one. Yeah. Okay, I missed that one. So go back 
and then we still have enough stitches to make another one. Here we go. Here we go. We don't have nothing to grab, so we knit the last stitch and we purl the remaining stitches that are left on the needle and then we do the purl stitch. So this is how it works. That's all to it. Yeah. Isn't this fun? So continue knitting as uh, as long as you want, I would say. So this, this, I didn't measure it, but I guess you can knit about a total of 12 rows, yeah. And then you can just cast, cast, uh, cast off and... So, uh, definitely, this is very fun stitch to knit. Just gonna purl this one and show you the work. So let's say you did you knitted all the way up, and then <clears throat> remember we did five rows here. You knit you do the purl stitch five rows, so that would be about two ridges. Yeah, we count. Yeah, two ridges, and then you cast off. So let me just finish this side, and then look at the stitch the front of the work and then this way you can see how it looks here we go very pretty 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 and then So continue knitting as long as you want, and uh, this is just a just a simple uh, dishcloth pattern that I can give you. Cast on 31, uh, knit three five roses. I did four five roses here, and five rows, and then I did uh, I started the pattern the stitch right away here, and then you, you knit total of yeah. 12 rows and then you finish this this dishcloth. This is how the dishcloth looks. Let me get it. It's a pretty decent dishcloth. If you want to make a dishcloth, you can make a dishcloth out of this. And this is how I knit my but my butterfly a honeycomb stitch. I hope this tutorial helped you how to knit this stitch. It's really fun and easy. And uh, please continue to watch my tutorials. I'm coming up with one of a kind uh, patterns and stitches that I have in my mind. So I'm just gonna make a video and uh, post it on YouTube so you can you can see how it works. Uh, I did buy a couple of a uh, caring caring uh, caring cake yarn, and I have a couple of. Uh, projects with that so I'm going to be demonstrating how to make what to make out of them and they're one of a kind unique idea so uh, if you haven't subscribed please uh, subscribe to my tutorials share it with your family and friends and uh, thumbs up if you like it hopefully you liked it it's really hard to tape a video to do a tutorial especially when you're taping and knitting and you know trying to figure out, oh, I should go do this and that. It's not easy. So I do see a couple of people, maybe two or three people, putting thumbs down. Just before think, if you were me, how to tape this. And it's not easy at all. I'm not professional. I'm just a plain old person. I'm not a computer genius. <laughs> I try to figure out myself as I go, and I try to learn something every day. So yeah just think before you put the thumbs down it's not it, it makes me sad yeah it, it makes me sad so uh yeah share with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe and uh, i'll see you next week thank you for watching and happy knitting